What's going on you guys? Yes, try not to be distracted by my Movember mustache. <laughs> it's good fun. It's kind of been a while since I've done one of these videos. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about something that uh, some of you have requested that I cover, which is basically my favorite dating apps. Or not really my favorite dating apps, but I think they're the ones that my clients do the best with. Now, it depends really where you are. Like, these might not be the best ones for you. These are the best ones that I've seen in general for my clients. So what I would recommend that you do is actually try them out and figure out if they work well for you because not all of them are going to work as well as they do for say me or say one of my clients depending on where you live another app might be better for you the app that I'm talking about might not even be available where you live if you kind of live in a you know a developing or traditional society okay so what I would recommend that you guys do is listen to what I'm saying why I think these apps are good and if it makes sense, download them, okay? But you know, if you disagree with my top three, that's totally okay, but here are the reasons why I'm talking about them, and I think you'll still learn a lot from this video, okay? Now, if you don't know how to actually message a girl on a dating app and get her to meet up with you in person, it doesn't really matter which app you have. Like, it's still not gonna work for you, okay? So that's why on Sunday, I'm doing a free webinar on exactly how to do this. If you wanna get registered for that, link is in the description box below. Okay, so now, I'm gonna start with number three. Now again, you guys, I don't know if you've heard me say this on my channel before, but I prefer that people talk to women in real life. But I understand with the times, uh, there's gonna be a lot of people uh, that are gonna go online right now. So that's why I started this video. Number three is going to be Facebook dating. Facebook dating, I think, is probably an app that a lot of people don't even know about, okay? Or maybe they've tried it just once, or maybe they've heard about it. I've seen some reviews online of Facebook dating, but I really don't think these people are actually like, taking the time and effort to do it. Maybe they just saw it and you know didn't like the interface or something like that. It doesn't, like the interface I could care less about. I just care if like I'm gonna meet up with somebody that I like, okay? That's really all I'm looking for. And for that reason, I think Facebook dating is still pretty good. It's not as good as it used to be. When Facebook dating first came out for single men, Facebook dating was the best thing ever. Like, you know, a lot of women were on it before men were, so it was a market that was very, very good for a single guy. Uh, it's not as good anymore, because you know, more people have heard about it, more people have kind of signed on, but I find that it's still really, really good. Okay, so um, number two is gonna be, maybe you guys are gonna be surprised by this, it's gonna be Coffee Meets Bagel, okay? Coffee Meets Bagel is probably more for the relationship kind of guy, which is why I'm not really using it that much. I have used it a lot in the past. I find that a lot of my clients, if they're literally not getting any matches on other dating apps and they try Coffee Meets Bagel, usually they have a pretty good shot of finding a girl. Now, in my areas and in the areas of the states that I've seen people using it in, it can sometimes skew a little bit Asian, so if that's true, you're an Asian guy, I would highly recommend that you get on it. But if you're not, you can still do pretty well. I've seen guys do uh, pretty well even if they are an Asian, okay? Now, another benefit to Coffee Meets Bagel is that it's also 70% women. 70% women use Coffee Meets Bagel, which is the exact inverse of what something like Tinder and Bumble and those ones are where it's like more than 70% men, okay? And number one, the best dating app I think my opinion is Hinge. I think Hinge is a great dating app, especially in the United States and in the UK. A lot of people are using this one. It might not be available in other areas. Like if you're in another area that's not one of those two, um, see if it exists and if it exists, try it out. I think that it's the best where I live and where I've lived around the States and in the UK as well too. Um, and in certain other areas, I've seen it available, but um, like, in other areas, Tinder might be a better option for you, okay? There's a reason why I didn't list Tinder or Bumble first. It's because in the States, it's not that good. You know, it's, it used to be a lot better, and it's, it, it, they're just other apps that are better like Hinge. And the reason why is because Hinge, it, it makes it easier for you to start a conversation with somebody. You can, like, see the little thing and... You know, they have like a little tag or, or words that you can comment on. Um, in Tinder, it's like usually you get like some 20 year old girl with like three bikini pictures, no bio, and you're thinking like, wow, she must have a great personality. <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, it, it's really difficult to message somebody off that or start a conversation. You don't know any of her interests or what she likes to do, so it makes it very difficult for people to connect um, in, in for that reason. So a lot more people will have Tinder and Bumble, but there's a reason why I didn't put it as number one. It's because in these areas, I feel like it's a lot tougher to connect with people, and a lot of younger girls or younger people are on there who are not really serious about meeting up with other people. They're just kind of on there just to, oh, I wonder what guys are on there. It's like more of a fun thing for them rather than something that they're taking, you know, I'm actually going to meet up with somebody on there, which is what I care about. You know, I could care less if, um, you know, a million, 
you know, hot girls match with me on Tinder. If none of them meet up with me, they, they don't really matter to me. So I'm, I'm more trying to meet up with people that, um, you know, that I like. And I think Hinge is a great tool for that. Now, when you first download it, it's probably going to take a little bit of time to curate the algorithm to, uh, for you. So give it some time. Um, people who sign on the app and only use it for a day, they're not really trying it out. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I have to say about the top three apps. Again, there's a reason why I didn't put Tinder and Bumble uh, in the top three. Hopefully you've seen why. Not saying they're not worthwhile. Like I've definitely met up with women off of there, but I just think they're not as good as they used to be. And there's a lot better options for you to have a conversation and actually meet up with them in person again that's what I rate these things by okay and obviously if you're a guy who knows how to text who knows how to talk who's like you know a cool person um, then it should be pretty easy for you to do that using one of the, you know some of these apps but if you don't know how to do that, like I said, I'm going to be doing a webinar this Sunday. There's actually two parts to this. The first part is going to be how to message somebody online and meet up with them in person. And then the second part is going to be how to actually attract that person, how to actually match with them in the first place, how to eventually progress to sex, dating, you know, seeing her consistently if that's what you want. Um, we're going to be, all that's going to be in part two. Part one is free and it's going to be this Sunday. So if you want to link to that, link is in the description box below. I would love to see you all there, you guys. Uh, it's not often that I do some of these free things. So um, yeah, I think it'll be really helpful for you guys. If you have a question, put it in the comment section below. Thanks a lot, you guys, and good luck out there.